Every June, pastors and laity from the Susquehanna Conference join together for the annual conference. Today, Rev. Mike Biella, Director of Connectional Ministries, is here to tell us what is an annual conference and what goes on there. Thank you for coming, Mike. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. We're excited to have you. Um, so can you tell us what really goes on at these annual gatherings of the 900 plus churches? Well, the annual gathering of the annual conference is an opportunity for uh, clergy and laity from each of the churches to come together to discern God's will for the future, as well as looking back and, and talking about the accomplishments that we've had over the last year. Uh, it's a time of fellowship, it's a time for worship, it's a time for meeting and doing the business of the church as well. Um, for me, it's a time to um, make new, new and old acquaintances again and to celebrate being the people of God in this great conference of ours. What is your role and the staff of Connectional Ministries' role in putting on the annual conference? My role is to to care for uh, the agenda along with um, uh, my partner uh, on that, uh, in that task, Tom Salzgiver, who's the Dean of the Cabinet. And together we work on the minute by minute agenda, making sure that we cover all the business items we need to do, plus all of the, the celebrative times and the worship times um, as well. What are you most looking forward to at this annual conference? I am really excited this year about the, the uh, music and the worship. Um, we have a new team this year putting that together uh, with some really great ideas and uh, a mix of, of modern and, and, and the good old classic hymnody uh, with many vocal groups coming to sing with us and uh, uh, a, a, a jazz horn line at one point. Uh, it's just going to be a great time in terms of that. Uh, but also uh, talking about where we're headed as an annual conference and making sure that we are keeping to our task of, of helping local churches, all of us together in this connection, uh, making disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. How has new technology enhanced the experience of annual conference? Oh, one of the great things we're going to be able to do this, this time around is to offer the entire sessions being live streamed. And um, that's going to be an exciting thing for folks far and wide to be able to catch a glimpse of, of what we're doing and to be here in pl as if they're actually at the session. Uh, and, and that's exciting to me. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think is the most important part of meeting together? I hope it's uh, when the Holy Spirit moves among us and the decisions that we make are truly God's will for God's church in the future. Uh, that it's not just about business, it's not just about dollars and cents, it's truly about mission and ministry and the changing of people's lives. And this happens best as um, the lay members, who by the way are not, sometimes at general conference we call them delegates. In this case, they're actually members of this basic unit of the church called the annual conference. Uh, if you look at our Book of Discipline, the annual conference is called the basic unit of the church. It means we're all part of this grander thing, this bigger connection. In our case, in the Susquehanna Conference, we have 920 plus local congregations who help to spread the word of this larger church. But those laity who are elected to come actually are members of this larger church, along with the clergy members. And together, uh, we come to, um, to really plot the course uh, for, for the church in the future. Uh, and it's just much more than business. It truly is about changing lives. I've had the privilege to attend several annual conferences. Mm -hmm. um, but before I had gone, I really didn't know what they were all about. And so I thank you for sharing a little bit about what goes on there and how it helps to form mm -hmm. the direction of our church as a body. Mm -hmm. So I thank you for coming, mm -hmm. and do you have any last words about annual conference you'd like to share? Um, I just want to say that, uh, you know, as United Methodists, we sometimes use our language strangely, and the annual conference can either be the organizational, connectional church 
this body uh, of which our staff and and all of the um, uh, the all of the pieces come together to hold the denomination in place. That's one way we talk about the annual conference. And the second is this annual meeting of the church, which is different. And sometimes folks get confused about that. In, in the fashion of uh, Francis Asbury and uh, Thomas Koch, who actually uh, put the first annual conference together, the, the Christmas Conference of 1784 it was called, and this was the first time in America that the pastors, and it was only pastors at the time, came together to talk about what it was they were to teach, what they were to preach, and how they were supposed to be in ministry with one another. So this annual conference idea comes from a long history and tradition of this connectional church of ours. Well, I thank you for enlightening us on the annual conference 101, and we look forward to um, seeing what this annual conference has told. Super. So I invite you to check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express. Thank <laughs> you.